Hi guys, this is Heidi Stitching Fay back with the floss tube number 22 and today's date is June 17, 2023. Uh, this is a podcast about, a video podcast about my hobby, cross stitching and I share here my hobby, uh, what I stitch, what I want to stitch and uh, what are patterns I choose. If you are a subscriber, thank you for tuning in and if you are new, welcome. And if you guys like what you see, hope you guys gonna like and subscribe and let me know that you enjoy the podcast. I wanted to come back because I had a free time today and I had few things to do. I don't have a lot of whips, but I have a lot to show. Uh, I wanted to uh, announce the giveaways. I just did it, so I don't want to redo it again. So I want to make the video to let people know i think it's been more than two weeks um share my finishes i have one really pops finish big amazing project finish i know there is a different word for pop um i have one really old um i almost gave up a uh, project that i finished and the new one and i have a um, few whips and lot of plans so uh oh and last two weeks i was able to uh visit two lns's one in seattle and one in las vegas i'll talk about it a little bit later on and uh, i'll share my experience and everything that was my first time for going to the crusted shop and i did meet a wonderful stitchers in vegas um crustage store Sue, Ka, Sue and Denise, hi girls, how are you? Thank you for hanging out with me and chit-chatting. Uh, two amazing ladies, uh, they, were, they were having a stitchy time uh, when we entered and uh, my husband made friends immediately when we talked and I almost didn't want to come out of the table but we had other plans. So that was in Vegas but before that, uh, a few days before we were in uh, Seattle and we went to the there's one in uh, Seattle. When I get to the shopping, I'll let them know the shop name. But before I start everything else, I do want to thank you all for playing along, uh, being uh, a good sport about it, and commenting on my uh, giveaway. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the uh, sportsmanship and the uh, uh, nice way nice feedback I got from the people who commented on it and all the wonderful birthday wishes I really do appreciate each and every one of the comments and the people who take time to write like and subscribe thank you uh, before I start everything else because I want to put the patterns away what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna announce the uh, winners or yeah but what I will not do is comment on your comment. I will give my, on the description, I will put my Instagram. That's the easiest way to get hold of me on private message, not on public. Private message me. Or if you don't have Instagram, I will also put my uh, email address. And I will try to check. Uh, uh, Instagram is the fastest way. But I will check my email address too if you don't have it to see if you comment it. And until next time, if you guys um, uh, contact me, I will send it. If not, next video before I start, which is about two, two and a half weeks, uh, I will just draw another person from the same video. I will not um, offer the same pattern again. I will just draw, go back uh, from that video on. Draw. but hopefully everybody will comment uh, the first winner for the garden is uh, Katrin Davis and today for fairness I just took a picture a screenshot the winner's name uh, I'll keep it a little bit longer so Katrin Davis and she said my garden milk I would love to stitch along I would love that too Katrin please reach out to me and we will I will ship you please be 18 and older to, so you can send me your address uh, and I will ship it to you Katrin uh, the second one was uh, mice uh, mice wa uh, the winner for the mice was Isabella's teacher. 
I will keep it Isabella's teacher. Uh, Isabella, please, uh, congratulations. And please, if you uh, uh, reach out to me and send me your mailing address and I will ship this to you. I just put it here so I can remember and I have the second copy. I'll just take this off. Uh, Isabella, I will ship it to you when you reach, reach out to me. Congratulations again. And let me see the third one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should read the Isabella's. Happy birthday. Your stitching is beautiful. The mice they are adorable. Yes, they are Isabella. I love them too. I'm gonna stitch them. Uh, maybe it will motivate me to stitch with you. And the third one is the milk. And the winner is Brenda Jacobs Jacobson. Brenda, I love the way you wrote the comment. I was uh, chuckling when I read it, uh, your comment, uh, Brenda, I would keep it again, the milk. Uh, thank you and happy birthday. May you have a garden tea party to celebrate with plenty of tea and milk and no mice in nibble on your cake. I love the way you wrote your comment. Congratulations and you got milk. I will ship it to you uh, once you reach out to me. Uh, congratulations all the winners and now that it's out of the way we'll start um, I'll start showing uh, my finishes my oldest finish is plum street some oh, let me just show this plum street some, oh no <laughs> that's a new start see I already gave away my secret let me see this one Miss Bingley's library. A couple of videos back, I told people that um, I, uh, the white, I chose the white 25 count even weave and my house was not showing and I was gonna give up. And a lot of people said it, don't do that. Just add the back stitches and just finish it. You're there. And I'm glad people encouraged me to continue because it's a lot of stitching. This house, doesn't look uh, uh, a lot, but it is. And I started this 2019. I just finished it a couple of weeks ago. So this is Miss Bingley's library on 25 count, even with one over one with the cold four floss. The only one I think I changed it, it might be the flowers, but everything else I kept it the way the designer Described it. The only thing I added basically these back stitches because my house was invisible. I didn't think I need to add the back stitch over here. But you know, these two small lines made a difference and I was able to finish the entire house. So I have a really old finish, Miss well, old start and new finish, Miss Bingley's library. Thank you, thank you for everybody for commenting and giving advice. I really do appreciate it and it made me want to uh, pick up and finish and I'm glad I, I stuck to it and I finished it. And let me see. I'll just put it on my side. The biggest finish that the reason I don't have lots of works in progress is because I decided to finally finish one of my biggest project Bob's uh, lovingly uh, stitch, st uh, cross stitch community calls I call it big uh, amazing project I have no idea I'm gonna show it I'll just this is hug run hollow uh, carry child samplings Halloween at Hug Run Hollow and I worked on the this one so yay all right yeah I have uh, there's I'm, I'm recording on my phone and there's no way I can fit in this entire thing it's pretty hard I'll bring close and I'll show each block so even though it's one project, right? But it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I count this too because if you cut in half, it's the and dark like this one is full coverage. 
This one is full coverage. They are uh, stitch heavy. So Halloween at Hakuran Halo. And I do think I started this 2020 or 2021. I don't remember. I don't have the paper. I have it, but I didn't bring it. But it's a finish. It took me almost five stitchy days. When I say five stitchy days, sometimes I work um, a half an hour. Sometimes I, I had days that I work like five hours. So stitchy, the stitchy day doesn't mean, and I don't do it in one session. Like I do it 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but I do have the luxury to put a, put on, on a side whenever I have a free time, just come and stitch, put a few stitches. That helps me a lot with my stitching because I have an area that I can always have a ready, uh, projects so whenever I feel like or if I have a few minutes I can just put like five six stitches and go do my thing so Hakuran Halo and I know a viewer told me she doesn't like it when I bring closer but I am um, because there's no way you can see it uh, heads up I'm gonna close do close up uh, usually the way I show it is the way I like other people showing it and it I guess I not everybody's gonna like the style but that's why i do it because i like to see other people's stitches closer they are a little bit different than the picture shows and i feel i see more of the stitching when i see close up from others that's why i do it i'm not doing it to make you guys dizzy or anything but that's the reason all right the black one this one had a lot of adventures. Uh, I, it has a hole over here and a hole right over here, but I covered it with in, uh, uh, iron and infusing, in, infusing the, you know, the thing that you put at back of your project. I forgot the word. I'll remember what it is, but it's iron on. So second block. This was a stitch heavy, but surprisingly went fast. Third, fourth, uh, no, fifth. This was almost uh, full, uh, full uh, coverage except this part. Uh, sixth and seventh, let me see. I did add name and the year except I put different fonts for the name and different font for the year but I think that's okay seventh one of the funnest uh, blocks this is eight I love the mummy the way the long stitches made it look nine the swamp creatures ten ten or eleven eleven and the one that it took me almost two three months to stitch first i didn't want to stitch this part because it's a lot of stitching but i understand why this all this brown you need to so the skeletons uh, uh stand out you know like this is all black stitching and this is all 829 and i use two skins of i'm doing 32 count even with two over two so i i use two skins of dmc 829 to finish the skeletons but i do like the way they came out so yeah i have a finish a big one oh my god i'm so happy about it I have no idea how I'm going to finish it, but, or how I'm going to display it, but I really, really want to figure out something that is a little bit affordable, but I can display it a Halloween, when Halloween comes. Halloween attack run hollow. I just don't want to put it down because I'm really, really happy about it. So most of my stitching went on that. That's why... I did not have uh, a lot of whips. Uh, another finish I had, but uh, I started a couple of floss tubes ago, was 
Mill Hill. It's a 19.99 kit and it's called Garden Party. The picture doesn't do justice for this project. This looks simple on this picture. And I was, for a long time I hid it, I did not do it because I thought it's pretty simple um, project and eh, you know, but once I stitched it, it looks amazing. I love it so much that I'm thinking I'm gonna frame it and put year around or at least uh, spring, summer. Autumn, I have a couple of them. Look at these flowers and all the beading. I do have a mistake over here. One, I went one this way, so I have a little bit bigger space. But if I don't tell anybody, people will not even know that. It has a lot of beads. Such a fun project. I cannot, and it went so fast, like, I could not stop stitching. I was just, my needle was flying. I, sometimes that's what happens, you know. I have the kit, I like it, I buy it, and then I see something else and I forget that I have this amazing project that I haven't worked on. Once I pick up, although I did not get this on 1999, I got this maybe 10 years ago. Uh, this pattern and a couple of the older Mill Hills, they reprinted it, uh, they rekitted it, and I think it's missing a little bit of a... No, for this one, I don't know if you have the original or the new reprint, they don't give you enough of these black seed beads. So that's the only thing I had. Uh, if you lose even a few of them, you need to buy it. Otherwise, they don't give you, like there's not enough of the floss or seed beads. But... I was okay and I was so excited with my finish that I decided to start another oldie but goodie gathering place again I purchased it when they reprinted it I, I don't know if it's still available this is everything is stitched with uh, seed beads. The only thing the floss shows is this white fences rest of it is and this is a button, all beading. I did middle start and look, it's all beads. I just want to give it a start because I'm collecting a lot of meal heel, but I don't stitch a lot. So I want to remedy that. And for my projects, I'm hoping to start a couple of them. And whenever I have time or I'm in rush, I can just pick up and stitch. I already separated the floss for this one. Summer Sampler. I really want to start this next. And I also have separated everything ready for Welcome Wagon. I feel like this can be spring and summer. And again, I feel it's more faster stitch than uh, the newer Mill Hills, which are amazing, but they are full coverage. So the older ones, I feel it goes faster. Uh, so that's all the finishes. I want to show my new starts since they are on top of the pile. Let me just put this. Uh, I'll just leave it here. some notes but not a lot of them uh oh you know what i was uh, i'll say it later okay <laughs> um i did there yeah, i did organize new start uh it, this is an airplane start uh, um on our way to seattle so it's about two hour flight distal house and i did start this on 40 count lums will win by x2 design Pistol house and I was stitching this in hand because I forgot my hoop so I couldn't give too, too much stitching I'm not used to 40 count stitch on hoop 
middle start basically I did a middle start everything is gonna be the same except these flowers I'm making them um, lilac-y uh, or purplish uh, color the reason is the ones I seen around here are more lilac-y purplish color I haven't seen the pink ones maybe there are but it might this still that I see is more lilac -y, purplish color so that's the only change I'm doing it otherwise I think I'm doing mostly cold for for the grass whatever floss is the closest or I think I darken it a little bit in the grass color I'm changing so this is my first start where did I put them I'm trying to figure out where I put my stuff I can put away and the second one was on our way back from Seattle or the Vegas trip like we came back and we had to do a Vegas trip so we had two trips and I I, I was home I tagged along with my husband so we made a um, vacation hangout and work trip which was like uh, two, uh three or four days there a few days here you know like vegas we were only there a day and a half and i started uh, this one which is called artful offerings patriotic pinwheel parade i no no i did this on seattle uh, Seattle trip too because I went to the Seattle store to get the red and the skin color for the bunnies I and the cold for for the blue for the clothing I'm using variegated silk but for these pinwheels the blue ones I decided to stay with the cold for 9 and 930 DMC so when I went to the store I did get those three uh, flosses from that store <clears throat> and I have very small start I am hoping I can give it a good stitchy session and the finish wise I'm thinking making either a drum or just leave it until I figure out what to do okay so this is also on 40 count vintage country mocha linen which means the other side of the fabric is not colored or variegated this is the color size there's a, this is the neutral side of the fabric and i finished two of the bunnies i have one two three four five more bunnies and the u.s flag so this is patriotic bunnies i have one from the diana grabner uh with the amish people going with the flags i will do um finishes uh, patriotic finishes and also patriotic patterns maybe next video or video after that in there i will show some of my older but really pretty patterns and some new ones but i didn't want to mix it up too much today i'm gonna do whips patriotic whips so this way you're not here for hours on <clears throat> another start i had was summer mo montage by from jo john lane summer montage from john lane uh there's a stitch along going on with the full coverage ladies are doing it and brenda handy work maniac she's doing it the kid but for the outlines she's doing it uh, coordinating colors which i thought i should do it too then i thought this block um Back stitch for the pattern made me feel like the church I was married uh, they had the stained glasses and the corners of the glasses were all black like the figures were a stained glass the figures were colorful colorful glasses but they were all uh, attached together fused with the black stain 
<laughs> so that's why I left it. Plus, it's easier. Uh, didn't want to think too hard. So this one, I'm gonna do a block or something like that. Uh, I have no intention of finishing it. I just want to start some of my kits because I have a lot of kits. But somehow, starting is, believe it or not, is hard for me. That's why when I have a chance, I start. And this is the, this flower. So next I'm gonna go watermelon, then probably the corn. So I'm gonna take one block at a time, like this is a beast. So I am not doing this block anytime soon. So I'm thinking these four have a potential like this. This one has the most potential for my next project. And this is what, I, uh, this is on 32 count vintage country mocha linen, which is the Zweigart uh, printed fabric, one of my favorites. And this is the back stitching I was talking about. I believe Brenda, she was like coordinating the colors, like the green, she was doing darker green, the red one, she was doing darker red, which looked really pretty. But I went to the easiest way. And my excuse is stained glass look. But I'm happy that I'm working on my um, kids too because I don't want to work only my kitted stuff. I have quite a bit kids, and this year I'm gonna try to work on some of my kitted or kid stuff and what I have. That's it. I have promised myself because I overdid it. Uh, next month is no buy month. Hopefully, Blackbird Design will not come up with a new pattern. Although, if you guys follow the Blackbird, um, Blackbird uh, Facebook page, uh, if anybody was looking for strawberry fields or the octopus gardens, they are reprinting it. Uh, go to Blackbird's fans page on Facebook. It's free, uh, join in. I love that page. Uh, admin is pretty resourceful and she tells um, the news and stuff. So I like it. So this morning I was actually reading it and I got so happy. I'm like, okay, now I can stitch the oct octopus and not feel guilty about it because people told me, oh, they wanted to stitch too and they cannot find it. And I was like, oh, I feel bad. I don't want to stitch something show them people won't although i should not feel that way but anyways strawberry fields of long blackbird design and uh, octopus garden is reprinting i have no idea what it has to do with this but the second one i started is winter montage from john lynn i tend to uh forget what I'm talking about and I start talking about something else uh, I apologize for that that's that's how my brain operates so I did the same thing I wanted to do all four seasons but I kind of I we had to go so I didn't have time to start the other two which I will basically I did this part everything so I tried to finish everything before I put it down, so I have uh, this one's like if I don't have a back stitch, it looks like a blob. But once you put the back stitch, it looks amazing. Winter winter mon montage, John Lane. Again, there is a stitch line going on. A lot of people are ahead of um, ahead. I think it's the I want to say heaven and earth has it uh, as a. Uh, full coverage and it's amazing I just know I won't be able to I won't stitch that's why I rather have and I like the design I rather have this than not stitch at all and I'm using all the cold for floss I just subbed the 14 count Ada with the 32 count um, linen my start that I told you guys last time, I did start Blackbird Design, Birds of a Feather. And I'm stitching with the 40 count marbled hazelnut 
by extrude design 40 count marbled hazelnut extrude design birds of the feather this is a reprint and it's available anywhere you are interested to look and i did little a uh, small start it's not a big start i just like i said i just need to have a reference point so next time when i pick up i know where to go that makes it easy for me so i did everything and i really wanted these flowers which i'm lovingly calling lollipops lollipop yeah and they are stitched with the dmc uh love this fabric looks amazing i'm looking forward that uh, one of the birds has a white feathers i think if i'm not mistaken it's gonna get on this darker side i'm hoping so the white uh, wings will show feather will show on this fabric it it looks amazing it's such a fun stitch but because of the time limitation i just did a start and i left it alone but for make uh, you're gonna see this for a few times I, i'm really energized to stitch on this design and then i work a little bit on this garden glade by carriage house samplings i do believe kathy barrett designed this so i'm working on this full coverage area and i'm adding a little bit of a hill a little bit of an animal so this time i added this bird and let me see reindeer okay i added this hill to the dog area because it's a uh, full coverage and it's all heels for the while you're not gonna see too much difference until i finish it the entire heel because it's the same stage browns and greens and pop of animals but once i finish it you can tell that how much stitching it had over here there's another green tree but i'm leaving it for the la for last because that's the fun part if i do it this hill is gonna stay so i added the bird all these flowers and this hill garden glade by carriage house samplings has a lot of stitches on it and i think i'm a little bit burned out with this one so i'm gonna put aside and pick another carriage house samplings because i did the halloween from hakran hollow and i was doing this one and i'm doing shores of hakran hollow so i think I need to add a variety so I want to start either the um, Teresa Cougar love never fails or because I don't have a right now active any of from that designer stitching or what else I don't want to add dimension because I do have two dimensions uh, I want to start uh, or Janet Douglas that's another designer I don't have anything active working on so I'm trying to uh, give different designer I uh, work on different designers because it feels different uh, when I work only one designer like May I worked only Mirabilia so last two two three weeks I did not work on mirrors because I got burned out so that's why I'm trying to make uh, different designers different styles like this is all red red rhapsody by rosewood manor so this time around i finished all this alphabet i had already this and i did the numbers i believe it's going a little bit slow but i'm already right over here so i have so if you think about it i have a lot more stitch than not and i was ambitious enough to put the date over here so i have this this much to go on to finish it by the end of this year so it's called red rhapsody by rosewood manor and i'm stitching this on 38 30 excuse me i'm stitching this on 38 count um legacy linen 
brewer's melt. This is a working linen, such an easy linen to work with in hand uh, or travel. This is very easy linen. And the floss I'm using is um, Silks For You Silk, uh, one strand over two. Silks For You Silk, uh, the red color. But I do not know the number. I had this since 2019 the hang of it and it's not fit. I still have the in almost entire hang and I'm using whenever I can so it's amazing price and I love there's the variegation of the floss it's one floss but it has a quite a bit variegation so next time I did finish the numbers I have one two more alphabet lines no three more alphabet lines then the the vinyl flowers and that's it red rhapsody uh, rosewood manor since I, I made a goal like uh, to finish this year I'm doing one or two strand a week or two uh, at least I'm working or uh, one or two days a week uh, but I'm not working long long period of time Sometimes it's an hour or 30 minutes, but I, I'm trying to pick up at least once or twice a week to work on it. Otherwise, my goal is going to be, I'm not going to finish on time. And the last whip I was able to work on, I was hoping to finish it, but it has a lot of stitches on this one. And this is called Margaret Doily 1850 from Hands Across the Sea. And I'm working on 40 count Eureka linen from Fox and Rabbit. This is a uh, this is the code for linen, and I got it as a kit from the kitten stitcher. It is exclusive to her shop. I don't know if she still has it, but last few times I checked, she still had it. But if you want to get this design, kitten stitcher is the only place you can get it. I don't know if later on it will be released or something. I'm not aware of it, but. If you want it, you can get it from her shop. <clears throat> and this is a smaller one uh, and kind of easy. What is this? I hope, oh my God. I had uh, one of my fabrics. I had uh, makeup, eyeliner or eyeshadow dropped and I thought I had it on this one too, but it was just a floss. So, everything here is new, everything. I is over here, she has uh, Margaret MD, I left it, and JD, I left hers. But over here, I added my initials and the year. And I'm gonna skip over here, I'm gonna skip this one. I don't know, I just think, the way I add it with the green, that one red is gonna look weird. So I'm gonna skip that one. So basically it's all her information, but I added my information right over here. And I used the Brenda Keys uh, book, sampler book. That's the best book I have ever purchased. And I use a lot for if I wanna change motifs or if I wanna add or anything like even for alphabet i checked uh, the alphabet over here and i went to brenda's keys book and i found the closest that is like the curvature is a little bit different from m to a but it's pretty darn close so i found the closest that matches with the the little girl's design and i added it and i pulled the color from the leaf that book is the best thing I purchased it. You can even make your own sample or samplers and you don't have to be designer. It gives you all everything. You just have to put uh, decide the theme and put it. It's amazing. So I'm hoping I can finish it the next time around. I will show a finish. I could have done it this time, but you know, I need to have some finishes for the next time. If I show everything at once, it's not fun, right? So those are all the
stitching I done last two two plus weeks. Now I wanted to show my whips that are uh, patriotic. I have quite a bit, not quite a bit, few whips that are patriotic, uh, but they're all big. So I'm thinking if I'm gonna add a patriotic next few weeks, which I'll show on my plans, I wanna do smaller ones since I have a lot of big ones to balance and make it easy for me to. Those are all my <laughs> whips that are patriotic. So let's start from Plum Street Samplers Heritage Sampler. This one is a set and I do have, not here, but I do have the entire set, which is three samplers together. And I'm stitching 40 count vintage country mocha with the uh, hand dyed cotton floss, called for hand dyed cotton floss. So um, I have not worked since last time, but I, uh, I did wanna show include with my patriotic stitchings and make a reference point for myself too. I'm here right now. Okay, yeah. So everything is done. I need to fill up, fill in the house, white house. And if I can, come the border this way. Uh, there's few for uh, small one over one stitches, but I'm not gonna do it. The flag was one over one stitch. This wording was all one over one, and the year, 1860. And I made a comment last time, like, because I stitched it, and 1860, I was like, what does that mean? That's the year he election year, Lincoln got elected president. That's why it's on top of his hat. That should have made. That should have made it ding ding ding. That's why it's 1860 over there. So, anyways, heritage sampler, and I do want to finish it, but I want to work. I've been filling little a lot Plum Street samplers, so I do want to work a couple of them. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna work, but I don't think this is a this year finish project. But it would be nice if I put a lot of stitches the one that i really want to work but i have not worked at all last year lila studio and it is let freedom ring i am working on the 40 count let me see i'm working on 40 count uh, uh, fabrics by stephanie Fla, uh, fabric but I don't have the name of it. I'm gonna look around. If I see it, I will let you guys, if I find it. It's one of her neutrals. I got it long time ago when I was not keeping references or I wasn't doing plus two. So this is pre, I wanna say 2020 start or 2021 start. So I wasn't making a good reference. I am using the code for colors, the uh, hand dyed plus. Um, mm, the grass, I think I changed the color. No, no, it's hand dyed. Never mind. I am using gold cold form. So I'm going from bottom left. Uh, for me, when I stitch, this is bottom right corner. I start from here because the way my stitches lay, but when I'm showing is from the bottom right corner. Make sense? No, left corner. When I'm stitching, it's bottom right corner. When I'm showing it, it's bottom left corner. Now that I confuse you enough, let me show you the picture. It is such a beautiful one. And the reason I picked this up, um, I think it was 2019, no. 2018 or 2017 we went here and we went I actually have a picture in front of the Liberty Bell and it's not as big as I thought it was and I'm short person small person and it was right next to me height wise cracked and we stood in line to see it and 
Liberty Bell. I'm like, okay, that's small, but we did the tour of this house and the horse and carriage, they still have it, uh, the tour of the historic area. So it made an impression to me. So when we came back, I purchased it and started this project. It's one of the prettiest ones. And I am hoping I will work on it. Since I did not last year, I think it's beautiful and the house is gorgeous. The red is the same cold for the red, but the variegation is really strong. Love this horse. Uh, the funny thing is, when you take the right, the they have a uh, pouch underneath, like a diaper for the horse, so they pick up the manure. And when we were riding on a, a carriage, we could smell it. And the guy, the tour guy, was saying, "Yeah, that's how." presidents travel you know like with the manure smell and stuff it was normal so it was interesting uh, to go that historic area and see the way they lived you know we are so, i'm telling my kids you guys are privileged like even the presidents in those days did not have what you guys have today like the um smartphones and stuff it has nothing to do with the cross stitch but i thought it was interesting and um, okay uh little house needleworks uh early americans i am working on it i i wanted to work for this block uh, but because of the halloween at hakran hollow i did not work but i included on my whips i wanted to finish this one abigail adams and after i do this i'm gonna do the middle block which is a quilt i believe it's a quilt early americans from the little house needleworks um vanna pfeiffer twisted uh twisted stitcher i always forget i'm so sorry vanna if you're watching vanna pfeiffer she did a on her blog she offers a free um border for this design uh if you go to her web uh, flaster page she links it and i will link her flaster page because that's what i can do i am not gonna use it because i don't have enough space but it is beautiful and uh, one of her older videos she does show the finish it looks gorgeous so let me just show my version i'm using my own hand dyed flosses or dmc's they are all mine i mean like from my stash so it's not the cold for ones which is i think classic color works um if i'm not mistaken the designer also dyes that floss or i'm really giving you the wrong information but i think little house needlework designer does uh dye floss so i am gonna put this aside and work on it even if it's one block because it's one of my earlier starts so i do wanna finish it so next time around when i show whip parade i have new new items to show this is not patriotic but i purchased it because of the colors reminding me red white and blue uh, american flag uh, patriotic ones it's all forced embroidery and southern land so a lot of it is done i have less to do and i just I, and it's worked on 32 count uh, oatmeal belfast linen i want to say it's oatmeal hmm. i think it's a cold for one i have not worked on it also but it is my goal to finish this one from the designer it's so pretty and i am using their floss since i had this i had this kit for a long time so i purchased it when we were able to and i got their hand dyed floss and i do feel it's more red white and blue kind of feel if i ever end up having a patriotic wall i do see that uh, this one over there too and I need hold this, repeat it 
over here and another row and that's it but um, I want to say 70% this stitch for this design and only 30% left so this is all forest embroidery Southland they do have also the Northland but I think I'm gonna call it a quiz after this one I apologize if I sound a little bit nasally um, the, the, the changes uh, the moisture in air makes my sinuses go crazy I have this for a long time but I finally decided to finish it America blackbird design I don't think I'm using the cold for floss oh no apologize I will lose it if I don't pick it up so America from blackbird design from this book sweet land of liberty I already finished this one and I do think I finished this one so I need to do this and this and it says that famous um, Basically, I want to stitch everything on this book. It's one of, I was so happy when the designer reprinted it that I want to stitch everything. Oh, this one is not. If I stitch, I'm going to do in one fabric. I'm not that brave to stitch separate and add them together. I'm not there yet, but I admire when I see it. So. This is the closest finish, so I'm going to give it a go for finish this one since I have a chance to finish it. Uh, in this book, uh, in this pile, I also... Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm dropping all my flowers. Not that organized. Souvenirs of the... Souvenirs of summer. I have finished this one, but... I really want to stitch this and this. I do have fabric for this one. It's darker fabric, but I've seen people stitch on more oatmeal color or tan color fabric, and it also looks good. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm still deciding, even though I have the fabric, if I want to go darker or just go tan color, and I'm definitely stitching this. I have heard Blackbird design like the garden one, octopus garden and the strawberry fields. I'm hoping, um, oh, it's a 32 count Belfast silk weaver linen. I'm hoping they're gonna, for Patriotic, they're gonna re-release one of those uh, sat out uh, designs because it seems like the designer has uh, uh, finger on the pulse like say like what stitchers like and she does reprint the ones that are going outrageous prices I do appreciate that and I'm buying it but I'm trying to not never mind this is I call it patriotic because it's King Arthur's Camelot from Teresa Winsler the reason I was uh, I pull this out because last night when I was watching the Hawk Run Hollow uh, commenter a couple of vi videos back I said it that the grids were not coming out and people gave me a lot of good advices and I do thank you and I was discouraged to stitch on it because the grids I had a 25 count um, easy grid fabric so I washed it and I washed it I left it overnight it was not coming out so a commenter a lot of commenters one commenter said that she was a uh, heaven and earth uh, like a full coverage stitcher and she did told me like really hot water just pour it and leave it there for a uh, couple of minutes it will take it out since i was gonna give up if i did not take off the grids i did that i'm not advising anybody i did that last night and my grids came out so i'm this is all one over one. So I'm just gonna pick up and uh, stitch a little bit more. So this part is all one over one. There's also this part one over one. It's really complicated, a lot of blends. This one to her face. 
but the finished product is beautiful and because it's king arthur and stuff so i thought i should show with my patriotic ones and i think that's all i have for the whips for my patriotic that i'm i have right now and as you guys can see it's all big i'm hoping i can do if i start i'm gonna start smaller one smaller ones i'm just gonna show this time only i promise you guys i'm not gonna do a lot of uh haul but i did uh go to oh, someone is calling me i did go to two uh, lns's i hope it's not gonna show to LNS's and of course when you go you buy stuff this is from the Seattle store and it is called Thread Needle Street very pretty uh, town I really liked it so I picked up a couple of stuff no that's not the ones and so I got this one, Bells of Ireland. I did not have it. Bluebird of Happiness, Blackbird Design. Again, I did not have this. And when I saw it, I'm like, okay, let's get it. The Country Life. Again, Blackbird Design. I think I'm gonna make the grass lighter because the animals are disappearing in there. I'm going to change the grass color. I'm not happy with it. This one was on clearance and it only asks for one, two, three, four colors. And round red. I do like um, band kind of stitching. So I got that. And I've been looking for lavender and lace. There is this one and there is one boy and a girl with a Christmas tree. I want to get that if I find out I'm gonna get that too and I do want to have uh, for Christmas I want to have a whole bunch of Santas this Santa I have and I'm looking for that boy and a girl with a Christmas tree but when I saw it I picked it up I've been wanting this one uh, Bent Creek Fright and I cannot believe it they had it over there Peter's Patch Again, this one is like a just non or mill hill. When I stitch it close up, it looks beautiful over here. You just see a dot, but it comes with the silk and yeah, and it comes with a clay button over here. I've been wanting this patch for a long time. When I saw it, uh, I could not believe it. Uh, I thought I had also the other one, the girl, but I came home and I could not find it. So when I went to the Stitcher's Paradise in Vegas and I met those wonderful ladies, uh, I mentioned it before, I want to say Sue and Denise. And Sue was there uh, first, so we ended up talking. And you guys cannot believe it, in three inch hoop, she uh stitches full coverage like three inch hoop like this she showed it and her full coverage is hakran hollow uh, size big i'm like that's stitching I, I was shocked when i said and she showed her work she had finished one and she was working on beautiful lady amazing three inch hoop and she's working with the if so please correct me if I'm um, I'm not I'm not saying correctly but I think she was using paper copy three inch hoop so so anyways I was there and I did a damage I found like side linens that's I'm not gonna show because it's a linen and I the camera will not pick up the colors so I cut yuletide delivery I've been meaning to get this for uh, Stitches Paradise. Yeah, I have the card from that shop. Uh, I've been meaning to pick it up, but I always had something going on, so I did not. Mm. Tortoise Tower. 
love these colors i think i want to start this one summertime and because i could not find the companion piece sophie's roses and this shop had this one but did not have a peter's patch so i'm glad i purchased the peter's patch over there and i got the roses uh, sophie's roses here and i have a complete kit and i'm hoping i'm gonna start I've been wanting this one, uh, actually a viewer told me about this pattern and I was not able to find it and when I saw it, I grabbed it. Uh, Alexand the Alexander of Lintra Lintraten 1829, I apologize, that's the name. Hands across the sea samplers. And I am like looking for this kind of style, with uh, with Scottish, I think, style. Some samplers, I have it like, um, Birds of the uh, Birds of the Feather, uh, Happy Hearts has the same kind of bird, and I have a couple of them. So, blackbird design. So, anyways, it's my collection. And Denise showed me this, and she was stitching it with um, blue and pink colors. And when she showed me, I'm like, "What? Well, I need to get this too." Call the stitcher. I need more. That's me. I'm gonna put a stitch put in front of me so every time I wanna click and buy, I can remember this. I need more patterns. <laughs> so that's all I'm gonna share today, and it's one hour mark. I do wanna thank each and everyone for participating and liking, sharing, commenting. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you guys like this kind of content more, I am planning to do. Uh, Mm, presentation or the parades of uh, half of the year like whatever I done finishes I'm planning to do one with the Plum Street sampler finishes and um, patterns one with the with thine needle and thread so I have quite a bit um, planned but I would appreciate if you guys like and subscribe that makes me motivates me to do it and makes me happy <laughs> so I do appreciate all the likes and shares I have really uh, enjoy spending time with you guys reading the comments hope it keep on coming and hopefully i will see you soon and in between uh, those two weeks it's not gonna be regular floss tube i think my sister is gonna come over and i'm gonna do a floss tube extract probably and showcase my sister's finishes and she mostly does miras and she's gonna bring her version of the waiting for ships it's gonna be fun it's like she does big miras so uh, if uh, if you guys want to see that because i don't have exactly dates or the days that i uh, record i just do it when i have time please um uh, at the bottom of your skin there's a subscribe like and ring the bell if you do that i don't send extra emails or anything but it will uh, it will let you know if i have a video up and if you don't want to miss uh, my sister's mirrors and stuff just hit the bell and like subscribe and you will, will i will see you this summer a couple of times thank you so much and please for the winners contact me i will put it down in the description uh, my email address but the best way to reach me is from my uh, instagram private messaging uh, that's the fastest way you can get, uh, uh, contact me i do really appreciate it and you have a happy summer and i will see you a couple of weeks bye guys